Hello and welcome to LFC Focus. Liverpool have just drawn 0-0 with Plymouth Argyle at Anfield, which means they will now be forced to play an FA Cup replay in a week and a half's time. So, it was a game that was low on pretty much everything. It was low on excitement, low on chances, and in general, low on quality. And Liverpool just weren't at the level that they needed to be to beat Plymouth. No disrespect to Plymouth, they played a good game, but Liverpool simply weren't good enough today. If I had to name a man of the match, it would be Daniel Sturridge, because when he did come on, he looked more like scoring than the rest of the team combined, because he was the only player who really was consistently looking to get the ball into the box, create chances or get a shot on goal. And Liverpool needed that selfishness. It was similar to the Merseyside derby in that Daniel Sturridge was the player who came on and changed the game and looked the most like forcing a goal. Obviously, he didn't this time. And I think the main reason that he didn't start was down to the fact that he'd only just returned to full training a couple of days ago. If he had come back a bit sooner, I reckon he would have started and Liverpool would have had a lot better chance of winning this game. Uh, if he hadn't played, then I think Ben Woodburn would have been my man of the match, really, because he wasn't that great. He wasn't what we were hoping him to be, but neither were any of the other players. And again, without Sturridge, he just looked the most like scoring. He was trying to get the ball into the box. He was trying to take on defenders. And at times he was doing pretty well. He showed a lot of good ball control, a lot of good dribbling ability, which is important for me because... Finishing ability alone isn't enough to get him a look in in the Liverpool first team at the moment, simply because with players like Daniel Sturridge, Liverpool have that already. So for him to show another side to his game is quite important because it gives him more of a chance of getting into the first team in future. On to the other youngsters, uh, Ovi Ajaria for me just didn't quite convince today. I think out of the three big youngsters that Liverpool have at the moment, he's probably the one that I'm least interested in and least excited about because... I think the main problem for him is that he doesn't quite fit into the system that Liverpool play at the moment. He's looked best when he's been playing in at the front of a midfield four, say in the number 10 position. We saw him play there in pre-season quite a bit and that was what led a load of Liverpool fans to be quite excited about him. And I think in this midfield three where it's a number six and then two midfielders ahead of that number six, it just it doesn't quite suit him as much as other systems would. And obviously he played his best football today when Sturridge came on and Liverpool changed that 4-4-2 diamond with Ovi Ajari in the number 10. Trent Alexander-Arnold, as a defender, he didn't have much to do at the back. It was more about his attacking contribution. He wasn't that great. He was making a couple of good runs. He was getting into the box a little bit, but his delivery just wasn't good enough, as it was for every other Liverpool player today, really. Joe Gomez, again, as a defender, didn't really have much to do, and obviously he can't really bring much to the attacking game. He was caught out a few times with Argyle clearances or long balls forward. But that's understandable, really. When there's so little for him to do in a game, he is going to have lapses of concentration, especially at the young age that he is. So, all in all, he had a good game. The most important for him thing for him, really, was to make his comeback from injury without incident. And it was particularly impressive that he did manage to last the whole 90 minutes. And I think that's down to Jurgen Klopp's idea of how to bring back a player from injury and his minutes that he got in the under-23s before returning to the first team. The last youngster, of course, although he isn't really a youngster anymore, is Kevin Stewart, who, funnily enough, ended up being one of the oldest players on the pitch today at 23. He didn't really convince me today, and I think at the age of 23 and with the quality of Liverpool's midfield players at the moment, I personally can't really see much of a future at the club for him. He just he doesn't bring much to that midfield role, and while he did perform OK defensively, again, there wasn't that much for him to do at the back today, so... His attacking contribution just fell short and he was nowhere near the standard that Jordan Henderson has set in that number six role of defending well, cutting out passes and dictating the pace of the attacking play. And I think his performance today is one of the reasons why Liverpool were so slow and lacked so much guile and had no ideas when going forward. That being said, as bad as Liverpool were today, no disrespect to Plymouth because they did play incredibly well and they came with a game plan to Anfield and they executed it perfectly because I did read before the match stuff about them being quite a technical team and that's what's done so well for them in League 2 and why that might prevent them from causing an upset because typically when a lower ranked team beats a higher ranked team in the FA Cup they do it through physical prowess and just getting a little bit of luck whereas Plymouth are all about simply being better than the team they're playing. But in the end, that technical ability really helped them. They picked out Liverpool's weaknesses, they saw crosses and long-range deliveries is our problem and also obviously winning the ball high in the box was another problem for Liverpool and the main reason why 
the crossing just wasn't working for them today. So they had a game plan and it worked for them. And if they do go with that same game plan, the replay, then I think Liverpool should be worried because Plymouth now have home advantage in the replay. And while we shouldn't really be thinking about that because we should really think that no matter where the game's being played, we are better than Plymouth Argyle. I think it's highly likely that Jurgen Klopp is going to go with the same eleven that started this game again with the games that Liverpool have got at the moment and the focus that's being put on the Premier League. They can't afford to make too many of their first team players make this trip down to Devon. I mean, it's a five hour drive there and back and it is a late game. So I think the replay is a concern for Liverpool, but not massively because these youngsters have shown that while they're not as good as the first team and they can't win games or press or have the same energy and efficiency as the first team, they can play football well enough to get a result for Liverpool. So I'm not too worried about the replay, but it is an irritant. Not too big one though. So that's all really. I mean, it wasn't the most entertaining game in the world. It wasn't brilliant, but Liverpool didn't lose. And that's one of the most important things really. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new around here and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to follow at LFC Focus TV on Twitter. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.